What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Blockchain Trapper, and you know we stay posted on the blockchain, and we back again for another video. After dropping my drip garden strategy video on how I'm going to be earning 150k per month in just two months, I got a lot of messages from people who wanted to do exactly that, but they didn't even know how to get over to the BSC to set up shop. So I decided to start a whole new series called the DeFi Starter Pack, where I'm going to make videos on all the tips, tricks, tools, and lessons that I've learned to help you get started with DeFi and start running up the bag. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get funds from any exchange to the Binance Smart Chain. It's actually going to be a two for one because I'm also going to show you how to set up your MetaMask wallet and connect to the Binance Smart Chain as well. Now, there is some basic stuff that you should already know, but just in case you don't know, I'll go ahead and get you up to speed. See, blockchains, they're basically just operating systems similar to iOS and Android. And just like iOS and Android, you can run apps on top of them. In the DeFi space, we call them dApps, short for decentralized apps. So the Drip Faucet, the Drip Garden, and the Animal Farm, those are all dApps that are running on top of the Binance Smart Chain, which is one of the most popular blockchains out there. So in order to connect to the Binance Smart Chain and use those dApps, you will need what's called a Web3 compatible wallet. There are several out there to choose from, but today we're going to be using MetaMask since it's the most popular and widely used in the space. If you don't have MetaMask already, you'll need to download and install it. This will work on both mobile and desktop. If you're using mobile, you can find it in your app store for both iOS and Android. If you're on the desktop, you need to get the Chrome extension or the extension for whichever browser that you decide to use. If you go to the website metamask.io, you can see a list of all the supported browsers and you can also install it directly into Chrome or download it directly to your smart device. Once you have MetaMask installed, the most important thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to back up your seed phrase, aka your private key. Now, this will allow you to import your wallet if you ever lose access to the device that you're installing it on. It would also allow you to import the same wallet to both your desktop and mobile so you can have access on both of them. In order to reveal your seed phrase after you create your account on mobile, you need to hit the hamburger menu in the top left, go to settings, Go to security and privacy and then hit the reveal secret recovery phrase. Of course, I'm not going to click it so you can see mine, but that's what you'll need to do. On desktop, all you have to do is click the fox head icon extension. Once you click that, it'll pop up looking exactly how it looks on your phone. All you have to do is click this circle in the top right hand corner, click that, and then come down here to settings and click that, and then go to security and privacy. And there it is, reveal secret recovery phrase. Once you get this seed phrase, you'll need to store this seed phrase in a safe location. Some people screenshot it, some people write it down and put it in a safe, that's up to you. Just make sure you back it up because if you lose access to this device, you'll never be able to access your funds again. If someone else gets access to your seed phrase, AKA your private keys, they will have access to all your funds and ain't nothing anybody can do about it. It's a wrap, ain't nobody coming to save you. You completely on your own and off the books. Ain't no one ain't hundred number to call. So protect it with your life. Now, you can take a moment to pause the video to back it up. All right, once you have MetaMask installed and your seed phrase, AKA your private keys backed up somewhere safe, we can move on to the next step. Now, when you first install your MetaMask, it's gonna automatically have the Ethereum blockchain installed on it by default. But we're gonna be using the Binance Smart Chain. So you'll need to set up the Binance Smart Chain node on your MetaMask wallet. Now, this used to be a tedious process, but thankfully some amazing devs made a tool that does it automatically for you in just a few clicks. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the browser. If you're on the desktop, you can just actually go to the browser and type it in. You're going to want to go to the website chainlist.org. Links in the description. If you're on mobile, what you'll want to do is you want to click the hamburger icon in the top left corner. Then click the browser tab. And then boom, you're in the browser. Now, one thing to remember is you have to use the browser inside the MetaMask app. So when you go to my YouTube channel and you click the link, you can't just click it and open it up. You actually have to copy it to the clipboard, go to the MetaMask app, open up the browser inside of the MetaMask app, and then paste it in there. We're going to go to the website chainlist.org. Now, remember, you can't just go to the browser. So you got to copy it to the clipboard on mobile. And then you have to go back to the MetaMask browser. And then you can paste it inside of the browser and it takes you right to there 
If you're on desktop, you can go directly to it in the browser that you have the extension installed to. So what this tool does, this tool has most of all the major blockchains in it where you can easily install it to your MetaMask wallet. So we're gonna be on the Binance Smart Chain. So what you wanna do on mobile, scroll down a little bit, see where it says search networks. Just type in BSC for Binance Smart Chain. You'll notice there's two. You want to go to the one that does not have the T because the T stands for test. That's the test net. You want to go to the main net. So you want to go to the main net, the one that says BNB because that's the main net. And all you have to do is click connect wallet, add the MetaMask, switch network. Boom. It's automatically on there. On desktop, it's the exact same thing. All you do is in the search bar, type BSC. You'll see both of them. You want to go to the one without the T because that is the main net. Click connect wallet, add a MetaMask, wait for it to pop up, switch network, boom. You're automatically connected to the Binance Smart Chain. Now that you have the Binance Smart Chain set up on your wallet, all we got to do is send some funds over. So the easiest way to do it from any exchange is to navigate to a site called changenow.io. Links in the description. Now, an important thing to remember is that each blockchain has its own type of tokens that you have to use. So to use the Binance Smart Chain dApps, you need to use the Binance Smart Chain tokens. You will have to convert your tokens into the Binance Smart Chain version, which we call that a bridge in the DeFi space. There are several ways to bridge funds over to the BSC, but I'm going to show you a way that works no matter what fiat on ramp you're using. So no matter if you're using Coinbase, Crypto.com, Uphold, or Bitcoin ATM, you can get your funds over to the BSC. BSC. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is buy you some crypto. Now, I'm going to be using crypto.com. This works both on desktop and mobile. On desktop, you can just navigate to the website changenow.io. On mobile, you can either navigate to the website or you can download the app from the app store, whichever one you like to do. So the token that we want to end up with is the Binance version of the BNB token which is the main token of the Binance Smart Chain Network. You'll be using that to pay for your transaction fees, which we call gas in the DeFi space. And just to note, you wanna make sure that we end up with the BSC version of the BNB token. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna buy you some crypto to change. I'm gonna be using Ethereum because it's one of the most liquid and it's faster than Bitcoin. So your transaction should go smoothly. And once you've purchased your ETH, you may wanna send a small amount as a test run to make sure you're doing everything correctly before sending large amounts. Because if you mess it up, it's gone. Ain't it nothing anybody can do. So just a basic overview of what's gonna be happening in this process. The Ethereum that we bought, we're gonna be sending that from our crypto wallet directly to the Change Now app. Once it's sent to the Change Now app, it's gonna automatically convert it to the Binance version of the BNB token, and then it's gonna automatically send it directly to your MetaMask wallet address. Real simple, does everything for you. First thing we wanna make note of is the amount of ETH that we wanna send. We're gonna send 0.04 ETH. So once we head over to change now, you put in 0.04 ETH. That's going to give us 0.2721138 BNB. We're going to enter the address that we want to receive it at. So once we hit this button to enter address, we're going to put in our MetaMask address. So we go back over here to MetaMask and we want to make sure we go to the wallet tab by hitting the menu on mobile and clicking the wallet tab. The easiest way to get your public address is to copy it. If you see right here under the account name, there's a address right there. All you do is tap on it, boom. Public address copied to clipboard. We wanna go back over here to change now. We wanna paste that in. Let's paste it in. We wanna start the exchange. What's gonna happen when we start the exchange, it's gonna give us an address that we need to send our Ethereum to from our exchange. So you just copy this address and you can send this from Coinbase, Crypto.com, Bitrix, Uphold, whatever exchange that you're using. All you gotta do is send the ETH to that address. So we're using Crypto.com. I just hit transfer, withdraw. Now you're gonna to wanna to put in the amount that you wanna send. I'm gonna put in 0 0.04, I'm gonna hit withdraw. Now, once you send it, you'll have to wait for the transaction to confirm, but you can check it simply by going to the history tab on your change now. So on mobile, you can just hit the history button and this works the same on desktop. So just hit history and you can see that it's in there, it's been received and it's exchanging. 
and it's going to give me 0.2716135 BNB, of course, because it had to take its fee. But you can see that the process is going. It may not be exactly instant, but it happens pretty quick and pretty seamless. And this is the easiest way to go ahead and automatically convert your Ethereum directly to the Binance Smart Chain version of BNB and automatically send it to your MetaMask wallet. Now, we'll just let it exchange and then we'll check our MetaMask wallet. Now, all we got to do is check our wallet. You can click the fox head on desktop or you can just open up the app on mobile and you can see, boom, there's our BNB. We got 0.2713 BNB in our wallet. And now we're ready to start running up the bag on the BSC.